why EPS is so important, why the standard is required. If you move on to the next page, you will see the fourth point. One method of valuing shares is earnings per share multiplied by the price earnings ratio equals market value per share. So as, as I say there, the earnings per share can be made objective. The reason, of course, is the international accounting body has got to have some sort of impact on the market value per share, a very sensitive figure. The market value multiplied by the number of shares could be a price tag for your company, a price at which your company may be bought. So to provide some solidity, authenticity in the market value, we've got to have an EPS that's standardized throughout the world. And the other reason, of course, is the price earnings ratio, which makes up the market value, is very subjective, as my note says. GSK there stands for GlaxoSmithKline. Glaxo That's the big R&D company. Uh, the other point I'd like you to look at, the level at which the stock market is currently trading and the effect of interest rate movements. What we mean by that is, if interest rates are low, the investors might think that it's not worth investing in government bonds and debentures, and they might take the money out and put it into equity. And obviously that raises the price of the equity being purchased. So it's, it's quite a lot dependent on supply and demand. And there you have a large educational company called BPP, a typical share price. The P ratio, therefore, might indicate the number of years contained within the share price. That is to say, the number of years' earnings within the share price. Now, have a look at snapshot of EPS.